DNA origami is the process of creating 2 and 3D nanoscale objects by strategically folding DNA. Researchers have successfully made everything from smiley faces to functional drug delivery machines. The possibilities are similarly endless. There is, however, one big limitation to DNA origami. The process itself is complicated and time consuming. What exactly does this mean? Well, let's say that Brutus the Buckeye successfully creates a DNA block out. This is great, but he then decides that he also wants to make a DNA script Ohio. Instead of making a few changes here and there, he must go back to the drawing board and start from scratch. What if this wasn't the case? What if you could design a system that enabled you to shuffle from shape to shape in object to object? What if once you successfully designed a nanosphere, all you had to do was alter solution concentrations, and voila, you now have a cube, or any other object for that matter. We are the Ohio State University. We are Ohio Mod, and we are here to show you that this is possible. Imagine an equilateral triangle. Now, imagine four equilateral triangles, each connected so that they create a parallelogram. This is our base shape. It is important to distinguish the connection points between triangles because they act as pivot points where a base shape can be modified into a second form. The next step is to strategically connect the different forms of our base shape together to form secondary 2D shapes. If this is done correctly, then they can be folded up to create corresponding 3D tertiary structures. In theory, as long as the desired 3D object can be represented in a 2D conformation, that can be further broken down into parallelograms, the object can be made. You might be wondering how we managed to get the base shapes to connect in the correct 2D conformation, as well as how we got the structure to fold into 3D objects. We use a technique known as DNA strand displacement. Imagine a bunch of single-stranded DNA hanging off the edge of the base shape. If the sequence of these DNA strands is known, by varying the types of complementary strands introduced into solution, we will call these staples. We can force the strands to bind where we want. It's as if each side of each equilateral triangle within our base shapes was covered in Velcro, and we can control where it does and does not stick. The following are some TEM pictures we took, as well as SOLIDWORKS models of the various shapes and objects. These self-assembling shapes are cool and all, but what's exactly the point? Although what we have managed to demonstrate is simply proof of concept, its potential for future application is tremendous. We're talking controlled release drug delivery systems, potential for modeling enzymatic activity, nanoscale sorting, nanobiosensors, and even virus interactions. Thanks for listening. Oh, wait. Oh.